King's Day is a national Dutch holiday celebrated on the 27th of April. The holiday celebrates the birth of King Willem Alexander, the current ruling monarch of the Netherlands. The Dutch people celebrate the holiday with extravagant street parties, booming music, fun fairs, boat races, delicious food, and lots and lots of orange. In the Netherlands, for King's Day, they eat various tasty treats such as croquettes, herring, cheese, licorice, puffages, and many more. To celebrate and express Dutch culture, I will be showing you how to make Dutch puffages, which are a delicious pancake-like Dutch delicacy. For the ingredients, you are going to need 7 grams of active dry yeast, 1.5 cups of lukewarm milk, 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar, a pinch of salt, 1 egg, and butter for greasing the pan. We are going to start off by getting a bowl and filling it with our lukewarm milk. Then we are going to get our yeast and pour it onto our milk. Stir the mixture thoroughly until it gets frothy. Once you are done mixing, cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and leave it to rest for 5-10 minutes. While it rests, we will work on our other mixture. Take your bowl with flour and add sugar along with a pinch of salt and mix it. Then we are going to create a small hole in the middle of the mixture and crack our egg into it. Then pour our previous yeast milk mixture into the bowl and mix it thoroughly until it becomes a smooth doughy consistency. We are going to cover the doughy mixture with some plastic wrap and leave it to rest for one hour. One hour later. The doughy mixture has now risen and is ready to be made into porridges. Usually, you'd use a special porridges pan, but since I don't have that, I will be using a cupcake pan instead. Place the pan on the stove at medium to high heat and grease the grooves with some butter. Then we are going to take the dough and start filling the pan with it. Make sure you fill each groove to the top. Once it has cooked for a while, you want to flip it using a fork so then you can cook the other side. Here you can see my failed attempt at it as it is quite difficult to make these without the special porridges pan. Alternatively, you can make them in a frying pan. I recommend using a non-stick one. Make sure you grease the surface with some butter and then dollop some dough and wait for it to cook. Once one side is cooked, flip it and this produces a pancake-like item rather than the traditional circular porridges. This is the final product. Although not entirely accurate in shape, they are certainly delicious in taste. You can sprinkle some powdered sugar on top or even eat it with some jam or Nutella. They are certainly delicious. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you make some porridges at home and educated you a bit on Dutch culture.
culture. It's not for me to say you love. It's not for me to say you love.